Hello everybody. Today we'll continue our lesson adding, subtracting, multiplying polynomials with modeling with the polynomial function. So write a polynomial function from a problem solving. So let's see. Carolina makes wine chimes to sell at the local street market. As Carolina produces a greater number of wine chimes, she can lower the price per unit. The function relates the price V to the number produced X. The cost C of making X wine wind chimes can be represented by the polynomial function. How many wind chimes should Carolina sell each week to maximize her profit? First of all, the profit, it is given. So we can write, I'm going to use P for profit, R for revenue, and C for cost. So we can write profit equals revenue minus the cost. The cost, it is already given. But the revenue, we do not know it. So, first of all, we have to find, we have to write a function for the revenue. By multiplying the price of each item, by the number of the items sold x. So the price of the items, it is given by the function v of x, which is 48 minus 2x times the number of the items sold, which is x. And this equals, distribute, it will be 48x minus 2x squared. So this expression represents the revenue. Now we can go back and find the profit. So profit, it will be the revenue minus the cost, which is 12x plus 64 equals. Remove the brackets, so 48x minus 2x squared. Distribute the negative sign, so it will be minus 12x and minus 64. And this equals, I will put it in standard form, first of all, negative 2x squared forty eight x minus twelve x it's positive thirty six x minus sixty four so this quadratic expression will represent the profit. The question was, how many wind chimes should Carolina sell each week to maximize her profit? So then we are not done. Then the function obtained, as you can observe, it's a quadratic function in which the A coefficient, it is negative 2, which means it's less than 0. Then parabola opens downward. It has the highest point vertex, which gives us the maximum. So all we have left now is to find the coordinates x and y for this vertex. Yes, to get the maximum, it will be the y coordinate. And the x will represent the number of wind chimneys produced. Let's see. So I'm going to write the function again, and this is P of X 
equals negative 2x squared plus 36x minus 64. So we look after the vertex coordinates x, the coordinate of the vertex, as you know, equals negative b over 2a, and this equals. In the quadratic given, a coefficient, it is negative 2, the b coefficient, it is 36, and the c equals to negative 64. So it will be negative b, negative 36, over 2 times a is negative 2. So negative 36 over negative 4 equals to 9. 9 represents the wind. She means produced per week. To find the y coordinate, the y it will be p of x, where x it is 9, so we have to substitute, evaluate for 9. And this it will be equals negative 2 times 9 squared plus 36 times 9 minus 64. And this equals to 98 dollar which represents the weekly profit so the profit per week for nine wind chimneys it will be 98 dollars let's try more The length of a rectangular speaker is, so then we will write length is 3 times its width. And the height is for more than the width. So width plus 4. Write an expression for the volume V of the rectangular prism in terms of its width. Remember that the volume of the rectangular prism, it is length times width times height. All we have left to do is to substitute the length. It is 3 times W times the width, keep it W, times the height which is w plus 4, and equals. Simplify 3 times w times w, it will be a 3w squared times w plus 4, and this equals, distribute, it will be 3w <clears throat> cubed plus 3 times 4, 12w squared. So the volume, it will be given by this polynomial. They say, an online shopping club has 13,500 members when it charges $8 per month for membership. For each one monthly increase in membership fee, the club, the club loses approximately 500 of its existing members. Write and simplify a function R to represent the monthly revenue received by the club when X represents the price increase. And here it is given here, monthly revenue is, so the revenue, the symbol used, they said is R, I'm going to put R of X 
is the number of the members times the monthly fee. So, first of all, we have to find the number of the members, which is given 13,500. And they tell us that this member, the club loses, which means minus 500 of X existing members where X represents the price of increase. So each one of the members, there it will be the decrease. Times monthly fee, the monthly fee is given $8 per month, which says it is increased one monthly dollar in membership fee when the club loses approximately 500 of the existing members. So this monthly fee, it will be increased by X. All of this will represent the revenue. Let's try more. Let X represent the side length of each square. So, from here to here it's x and here it's x. So, here we have a square in the corner, another square in the corner, another square. So, we have four corners. In each corner, we have a square. The length of the square, it is x. The length of the rectangle, it is 20 and the width is 14. They say, write the expression for the length, width and height of the metal tray. This, it will be the metal tray formed. So, this is the metal tray. The total length, it is 20. And here I have X cut. This length cut its X in one side and another X in the other side. So what we have left, it will be length equals the total length, it is 20, minus the sides which are cut. So minus 2X. The width equals the total width, it's 14. But it is cut, they cut from it, this is x, and here it is x, so x minus x, it will be minus 2x. And the height, it will be this one, which is x. Write expression for length, width, and height of the metal tray. So this, they represent the length, the width, and the height. B. Write and simplify a polynomial function V to represent the volume of the tray. So we can say that volume equals length times width times height. And this equals the length is 20 minus 2x times the width 40 minus 2x times the height it is x. We have here three factors. So first of all, I will group the last two. It will be 20 minus 2x times distribute 14x minus 2x times x is 2x squared. Now we'll distribute again. 20 times 14 is 280x minus 20 times 240x squared. Negative 2x times 14x is negative 
x squared and negative 2x times negative 2x squared is positive 4x cubed. So the volume equals, collect the like terms, simplify and put the expression in standard form, it will be 4x cubed. Negative 40x squared minus 28x squared is negative 68x squared plus 280x. Using the graph, so this is the graph given of the function v, explain what the marked relative maximum represents, which is in this point. So this is the maximum. We can write it separate, maximum, coordinates 2.7 and 339. So 339 represents the y coordinate, the y coordinate. This is the volume resulting from cutting the four squares from the corners. So when we cut the four squares, the volume, which in fact we calculated here, the maximum volume. And the x-coordinate it's the measure of the side x, x, it's the measure of the side of the squares They could be that they could be cut in order to produce the maximum volume. Thank you.